The next thing I'm going to show you is how to draw the cane in the chair seat itself. If we just go back to the chair here, and back to the chair, and zoom in, we'll be going to draw these double lines around here with the curves in here. So let's go back here to our student template. We need to actually put the rails in. So I'll just go offset 60, enter. And we need to go 60 this way, from the front that way, from the right to the middle, and right click enter. Now I need to right click repeat offset. I think that back one's 34 mil, so we'll just go 34 from here to here. Let's enter. Now these rails are going to go all the way back, so we need to extend those to this line here and right click and extend that one and extend that one. Right click enter. Let's just do a little bit of trimming. So we go click on the down arrow. If we click extend, we'll do extend. So we need to go to the trim command now and just click on these two lines here and here. Then right click and then get rid of that little bit there and that little bit there. Right click enter. Now also this front rail is going right through. So we need to go repeat trim from this line now then right click and then left click that one and left click that one right click enter just a little two little tags there so we go right click repeat trim click on the outside of the rails the outside of that rail right click if you can't see it just zoom in a bit I'm having struggling a bit here I might just zoom in so I can see it a bit better left click right click enter okay that's our rails we need to create that double line for our cane, that's where our cane is going to be sitting in our chair. So we go back to the repeat offset and we want to make the first line 10 millimeters in from the inside edge of our rail. So we can go left click, oops I did that the wrong way around. I go left click and then back, we can always get rid of that one later, left click that way, left click and left click, left click, right click, enter. Now I need to do it again, so we go right click, repeat offset. This time we're gonna make it 15 from the inside. We could go five mil from the other line, but let's do 15. 15, enter. From the inside out, now you can see there's a five mil gap between those two lines, and inside out, and I've got about the right one, inside there like that enter i'll just get rid of my messed up line here so it doesn't get us confused and now we've got these double lines going around now the easiest way to draw a circle or an arc from there to there is to use a fillet command so if we could go to fillet you can see there's a down arrow i think we've mentioned this before the down arrow will give us these different commands we can use with fillet. So we want the radius and the multiple. So let's click on the radius, or if you're not going to do that, we just type in R, enter, and our first line was offset 10 mil, so that for our radius will be 10 mil. So we'll type in 10, enter. But the fillet command only works once, I'll show you. Left click, left click now it's gone so we need to make sure we can make that work right around so we go repeat fillet we'll type r for radius again and it's 10 mil and we select m for multiple it means we can do it as many times as we want so we left click on that middle line left click on that middle line you can see where i'm clicking i'm clicking on the inside of my curve not the outside if i clicked on there you can see how that it, it'll, well, this one won't change, but if I clicked on here and there, it would make the curve go that way. So we make sure we go on the inside of the line, like that. And then right click, enter. Now I want to do that again for the other line, for this line on the outside. So we go right click, repeat fillet, type R for radius, type 15 this time for the outside curve, because it was 15 mil offset and then M for enter for a multiple 
and we can just go around and fix up these lines here. So now you can see we've got a nice double line going around our project here. So left click, left click, left click, left click, zoom in a bit, left click, left click, then right click and enter. Now that gives us our, if you look at it now, gives us our double lines parallel and also with the correct radiuses 10 and 15 mil on the outside curves.